Hey folks, hope you're doing well today. This is going to be a lengthy mail day video. I haven't done a mail day in a couple of weeks, so I've got a good bit of cards to show off here. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to segregate these cards over the past couple of weeks uh, from the rest of my collection until I could do this video. And I just decided to stick them in this Ninja Turtle lunchbox. Loved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a kid. My parents got me this lunchbox actually uh, several years ago as an adult, but just something sort of remind me of my childhood. I'm going to try to remember where I got these cards and how much I paid. I won't remember on all of them, but just bear with me. I do know that this stack came from It Come of a Egg. He had an auction a week or so ago. The first stack here, I picked up these individually for 3 to $5 a piece. I don't remember, um, but a nice little stack. Nick Senzel Refractor out of 2017 Bowman Chrome Prospects. Uh, that's numbered out of $4.99. Christian Robinson out of 2018 Chrome. Noelbe Marte out of 2019 Chrome. A couple of basketball cards. Down to your Hunter out of 2019 20 Mosaic. Got this Jeremy Pena uh, pink out of $1.99. And this Lords Guriel Jr. Bowman Yellow. And then I did a, a uh, he had a mystery pack for, I think, $30, and I got one. So got some decent little cards in there. There's good individual value, some decent stuff to hold on to probably. Sean Murphy got a nice Gavin Lux, finest rookie. Got that Michael Taylor. I want to say that's 2015. Yeah, 2015 finest rookie auto. And then a, I'm not going to take it out, but it's a pink uh, Miguel Andahar out of 2018 Topps Chrome. Where's the Chrome update? Tops Chrome PSA 9. Uh, I got this stack from a, a seller on the Blowout Forums. A lot of these cards came from Blowout Forums. This was a stack that I saw, and I thought, man, that is a really well-priced uh, lot of cards. But I had just spent a ton of money on some other stuff, so I thought, eh, I'll pass it up right now. You know, I don't need to buy it. And then I kept coming back thinking, that is just too good to pass up. So I got the, I decided to buy it. I got it for $2.25, I think. Came with a couple of Devers update chromes. Dustin Mays out of 2020 Tops Chrome. Uh, Freddie Freeman Acuna Jr. out of Heritage. Some more Acunas. The Acuna rookie debut. And a couple of these Acunas Legends of the Making out of 2018 Tops update. And then this stack came with it. Got a couple of bow bichettes. Really nice looking bows. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of these will gem. The other, I think, is probably a nine, but it's a good stack. Got this Austin Meadows purple out of 2018 Heritage. These are both chrome cards. I think they owe, uh, well, let me think here again. The Otani will probably gem. The Torres is probably a nine, but still a nice card to have. This is an excellent looking 2018 update Torres. Uh, short print, US, two, or US, US 200 short print. Now, a lot of times people think that this, you get a lot of rough cuts on these cards, and I used to think that that would knock it down a grade, but I've sent several of these 2018 update cards in that had rough cuts and they came back gems. So I'm not sure if that really affects the grade or not, or if that's something that PSA is like, eh, happens a lot. It's part of the, the factory thing. So I don't know. Picked up this Acuna First Bowman Chrome out of 2017 and this Soto 18 update. So that was a good lot, I thought, for the price. From, I don't remember how much I paid for these, but they came in a lot. <laughs> this Calhoun and these two Michael Bushes, I, I, guessing less than $30 for the lot. Um, I traded my, I had, if you saw my PSA reveal video, I had a Patrick Mahomes 2017 Donruss card that was a PSA 9. I traded that for the card you're going to see after this, but... Decided I'd pick this up after that. It's a press proof, blue press proof. Uh, no better than a nine. This wouldn't grade higher than a nine, but it's a nice card for the value. I think I paid 200 for it. And then I traded my card for these two basketball cards. They're both in great shape. This Trey Young Optic Purple and this Kobe White Prism uh, Silver. 90% sure that thing's going to gem. It's clean. Pretty sure that one has a good chance too, but as a gem, this is up, up, upwards of, I'm trying to think, five or six hundred dollars so i think i probably got the better end of that trade this was my big purchase for the week it's john morant silver that came from an auction house 
It's got 9.5 on centering, but it looks a little off left to right, so I'm not really sure. I probably should have saved that to the end, but whatever. Let's see what else I've got here. All right, I did a trade for these. Uh, don't really care for jersey cards, but he wanted a card that I had, and he gave me some a list of some cards that he had, so I went ahead and chose these. Uh, this Ripken jersey, Andrew Jones jersey, Chipper Jones jersey, and this Diamond Kings Nolan Ryan numbered out of 100, 25 of 100. And he got a 2019 Topps Blue Wave, Topps Chrome Blue Wave Devers PSA 10. So, not a bad little trade, fun little trade, I guess. I got this lot for $40, amazing price. Had a Verdugo Gold, Bichette, base rookie, Moncada Series 1, 2017 Topps rookie, and this Victor Robles Chrome Blue Refractor out of 150. Not having a great season right now, but uh, he's a great defensive player. And I do think Verdugo's stuff is on the rise a little bit. He's He has started to pick up a little bit in the past couple of weeks. Oh. This is another one I don't remember what I paid for the lot. I know it was cheap, though. Connor Wong, two Connor Wongs, and a David Fletcher refract Refractor Autos. From my local car shop, went in for some uh, supplies. Came out with no supplies in these two cards. This J.D. Davis was in a box for $5. Got that. And got this 2012 opening day Mike Trout for $10. Couldn't go wrong with an early Trout for $10, regardless of the set from which it came. Let's see. Purchased this from a seller on the blowout. I don't have much Kyler Murray stuff. I pulled a Prism Base rookie that's at PSA right now, and I have a select rookie of his, but that's it. And I do think he has a lot of good potential. I think he is a player that could live up to his hype, uh, sort of the, the rookie hype. Uh, he does have DeAndre Hopkins, which will help him out. But uh, it's this 2019 Flawless patch, and, and I'm not usually a Jersey fan, but I do like patches. So this is a patch. Uh, Kyler Murray, rookie, numbered out of 15, 10 of 15. So, and it's f to be a flawless product, which typically is difficult on the corners because it's such a thick card. This has really clean corners. So this is this is a grade, gradable candidate. I might send that off to BGS uh, from that same seller. And I think I paid like 125 for that. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was 125. Got a Daniel Jones select, Jarrett Stidham select, this Luis Robber top space rookie at Wooden Gem. It's got a little soft corner down here, but I think it was $10. And this Alec Bohm Blue uh, out of 2018 Chrome, numbered out of 150. There's some green on the, the case. I didn't think I had any Bomb stuff out of 2018 Chrome, and then uh, later found some base Chrome and some refractors. For my 53 Bowman Color set that I'm slowly putting together, I got this off of the Net 54 Baseball Forum. Uh, Net 54 is a great resource if you are into vintage, specifically pre-World War II vintage. Um, blowout forums is great, more for modern stuff. Net 54 baseball is better for the vintage stuff, but that's a nice looking four. Let's see. This is a card I, this is what I thought I had last time and I, I got them mixed up. So I showed you a blue, red, white, and blue Michael Porter in my last mail day video that I said I got for $40. That was this card that I got for $40. I actually ordered this one first, but it came second. Uh, this optic purple, nice Michael Porter. <laughs> I got this from a, let me slide these over because I wanna show this separately. Got these from a local auction that was online. It was like 20 minutes away. And I, I got the two for $6 and then I ended up having to pay like six fifty to have it shipped 20 minutes to me because they wouldn't let me come pick it up. But the Refractor, Mike Trout, and the Purple Chrome Keyboom. This next card is a PC card. I love it. And the seller threw in these two, I don't know what they are, Green x Factor, First Bowmans of Josh Donaldson and Salvador Perez. But I love this set. Love it, love it. This Elite Series Ken Griffey Jr. presents really well. Now, if I were to get this graded, it'd prob probably be an 8 because every corner has a little wear on it. Uh, but a beautiful, beautiful card. This was a chase card when I was a kid. I mean, it's numbered out of 10,000, which now you're like, that's nothing. There are tons of those things. No. <laughs> if you knew how much junk wax era was produced, these things were hard to hit. Um, 
So love having that. I used to have a Frank Thomas. I hate to say I lost it at some point. Um, I'll probably get another one back just to replace it. Got these three off the forum for, I think, $18 or $20. C.J. Abrams, two chromes and a sky blue refractor. Let's see. Got these from an online auction house. Uh, I'm not a hockey collector. I have had a couple of cards. I've had a Wayne Gretzky, Topps rookie. I think I have a Patrick Waugh and a Mario Lemieux rookie or rookies uh, and maybe a, a smattering of other cards. But thought this was a nice looking card. Thought it was a fair price for it. So I picked this Bobby Hole up, 1971-72 Topps. Good looking card. And then I got this 2017 Elite Tom Brady Orange out of 25. And this was actually the first... I think this is the first new SGC holder card I've received. Uh, and then I received another one this week that I'll show you in a little bit. Got this as part of a trade, and I don't remember what I traded. I think I traded some Brandon Lau stuff, but I don't remember what. This Ozzy Albies Holiday Auto out of 75. Del Murphy 91 uh, Desert Shield and a Bo Jackson 91 Desert Shield. And then he threw in some... Some nice cards, particularly this Alan Trammell uh, Desert Shield. They're all Desert Shield, but Ozzy Albies from Filmington's auction that he had a couple of weeks ago. Got this Juan Soto Chrome and this Eloy Jimenez Top Space Rookie. Got a great price on that, I think. This was the other SGC card I got. It was from a uh, an auction house, VSA, Vintage Sports Authentics. Uh, got this for $25. I think Devers probably is a buy right now. Um, not having the best season, but based off of his previous performance, I think I think he's a good buy right now. Got, uh, let me see here. Got these from a member on the blowout forums. I think I paid 35 or 30 for the Lau and 25 for the Lindor. Lindor probably wouldn't gem. It's a little off-center. The corners are really nice, but it's a little off-center. Lau, I haven't looked at, but not worried about it. From another blowout seller, I think all the, the remaining ones, yeah, these all came from blowout. I got this card, this Aquino, for a dollar, and then I got this Christian Pache auto for one ten. This thing will gem, no doubt in my mind. Super clean card, so... It's got something in the case. I just realized that. <laughs> Super clean card. And then finally, from Blowout, picked up this little lot of Luis Robber. Uh, I think I paid 110 or 120. Not sure. One of those two. I think probably 120. Got three base chromes and a pink refractor. But that is it. I say that's it. That's a lot of stuff. Alright, hope you enjoyed that. If you had a favorite, let me know in the comments. Uh, until next time, hope you have a great day, great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.